Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to Sin Stuff. I'm standing here in my garage, which has a little bit of an echo to it. And we're going to be talking about spectral layers coming up. I've been using spectral layers for years now. There is a version of spectral layers that comes with Cubase that is kind of like spectral layers light, I believe. But I've been using spectral layers pro for some time. I originally used it to do what it's most famous for, which is picking apart songs, separating mixed songs into its component stems, where you can have drums and guitar and so on. And we'll do that in just a moment, but I want to show you what I use it for mostly, and it's for these videos and for recovering speech. So I'm inside my hang or my hanger, <laughs> inside my garage here, and it definitely has a little bit of an echo in here. I'm not using a lav mic, I'm just recording literally this on my phone to use my phone's mics to pick up the sound. And this is what it sounds like with no spectral layers on in here. I'm talking on my phone and you hear all the ambience and re reverberations inside the garage that I'm standing in. So let's try a few other situations. If I actually take a step outside, there's a plane flying overhead. So you can hear that in the background, but let, let's get rid of that plane so you can hear just me talking instead. There's also wind noise and all kinds of other noise out here. Let's turn it back off. And there goes that plane and you can hear basically all the sounds of outdoors, but now I'll turn it back on. And now I've got nice clear uh, audio of just my voice for this video. You can see how easy it is. Here's some audio from this video. Untreated and then I'll run it through spectral layers. You can hear that's me talking with all that background noise. I just select that. I say vocal denoise. Just hit apply. I'm leaving it at 100%. And now this is the result. Untreated and then I'll run it through spectral. So why am I talking about spectral layers? Like I said, I've been using spectral layers pro for years, but spectral layers pro 12 just got released and it does some really amazing new things, including improving the AI that does the vocal uh, extraction of noise. You can hear my car engine, I'm running in the garage here. Now that my car is running in the garage here, you can hear there's all kinds of noise in the background. But if I keep talking and turn on spectral layers, the noise just goes away and all you hear is my voice. That's pretty amazing at cleaning up the audio of video you have. If you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm also a pilot and I have another channel called Canard Boulevard where I feature my airplane and I fly and so on. I'll put a link to it up here. I have uh, a lot of videos that I record in the hangar, which is this big empty room with tons of reverberation. Let me show you how well I use spectral layers for cleaning up the audio there. This is a before and after. Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome back to Canard Boulevard. If you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know I've had some challenges with the electronic ignition on this airplane. Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome back to Canary Boulevard. If you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know I've had some challenges with the electronic ignition on this airplane. There's all kinds of noise in the background that you've got in this video that I'm taking, but spectral layers just takes that out. You can use it to remove noise in the background if you have a lot of talking if uh, there's a lot of dialogue or a lot of crowd of people, you can extract just your voice out of that. It's really quite amazing at what this can do in terms of cleaning up audio. Now that we've had a look at what you can do with noisy dialogue or recorded audio from your video, let's see what it can do with music. I have loaded a song called First Last for Everything, which is a song that I did a couple of years ago with my wife and I singing together. And you can hear it here. You have, you have vocals from myself and my wife at the same time, along with some synthesizer and piano and so on in the background. They will never miss. These people, they will come across the sky. Say proud to walk another mile. All right, so you can hear there's a lot going on in there. So if I go into... Uh, this little bit here. Actually, you know what? Let's process the entire song. So I'm going to go into unmixed song and let's see, we have vocals, drums, bass, uh, and we can say, well, let's pick all these things. Guitar, there's no guitar in this, but let's pick it anyway. There is a little bit of piano, sax, of brass, and other. So let's apply this and see how long it actually takes to unmix this. Now I have a fairly powerful computer. It's a 16 core and it does have a GPU and this does use your GPU. 
and you can see it says it's applying unmix and let's see what it's going to take 10 minutes 34 seconds oh okay no seven four four so this song is just about five minutes long and it looks like it's going to take it's going to process it in about real time so that's about what I would expect. And yes, I can hear my computer is definitely working at this and the, the GPU was up. So let's see how long it takes to run this. All right, so it has finished here and you can see it has separated all the different parts uh, all, in all the different colors. So if I say I want to uh, solo the vocals, it's gonna show me just the vocals. Well, they either miss or they will never miss. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, the peace people, people they will, will come across the sky, say, rather walk another mile. So there you can hear my wife and I singing the uh, lead into the chorus. Now, I can also do an unmixed chorus. So if I want to just preview the lead. These people, they will come across the sky, say, rather walk another mile. Or I could say, I just want to hear the backing vocals. Now you hear lots of artifacts there, but if you play them together, those artifacts are not there. Now there was quite a bit of processing being done to her voice to move it off to the sides. If you listen, you can hear that I'm in the center and she's mid, I, I, I'm mid and she's side. These people, they will come across the sky, say, rather walk. And that's something I did intentionally when I mixed the song. So if I play the backing vocals. These people, they will come across the sky, say, rather So I think I've confused it a little bit because it's looking for vocals in the center. And it does do that very well for me. These people, they will come across the sky, say, rather walk another mile. But it, the fact that it can separate lead vocals from backing vocals is pretty cool. All right, back to the main mix. Let's separate the drums and we can hear, yeah, there's a little bit of a, of an artifact in there, especially in the top end. I hear a little bit of swirliness. It did get that reverse cymbal there, that uh, reverse reverb on the cymbal. That's pretty cool. Adding in the bass. I'm gonna take the drums away and listen just to the bass. Yeah, I, I definitely hear artifacts there and it's also missing the top end of that bass line. It's very, very muted. Is there any guitar? Okay, the guitar seems to have picked up a little bit of the sequencer. There is no guitar in this song. Piano, yeah, there's definitely piano in here. Yeah, it picked it up. Again, it's very busy mix. Okay, sax and brass, there's none of those, so... Oh, it picked up part of the bass on the sax and brass. Oh, there's the rest of the bass. So you can hear the top end of the bass is actually coming up in the other. So if I add the bass, there we go. So that's what the bass should sound like. And there's sequencer, which also got caught up in the other as well. So now we have the other that's just got that sequencer and the top end of the bass. So it probably needs a little bit of tuning in order to do this song properly, but it did pretty good. So let's try a different song. Okay, so this is a different track. This is uh, not one of mine. This is Slave to the Square Wave, but this is a track that I actually did a remix of, and this is the remix version of this track. And it does have a lot of more bare vocals. And so that's the, the verse there, and then the chorus. All right, so let's do the exact same thing. We're going to do an unmixed song, and we're going to tell the drums, bass, guitar. I think there's guitar. Uh, is there sax and brass? No. So let's leave those, and there's no piano in this. So let's just say, hey, go ahead and do that. And this song is just over four minutes long, so I'm expecting it's gonna take about four minutes to process. That took almost exactly four minutes, like it said, so it's finished now, and we have it's separated into its constituent parts. Here's the vocals, let's give it a listen. 
Jaw clamps with a cigarette, muscle to the ground. Eyes of glass, self photographs, take it to the town. Feed you two piranhas, yet you're moaning as you drown. Strangest of the strange, the self inflicted sound. All right, so I have the actual stems on this, so I could play the, just the vocals that I have that do sound. What the hell happens when a lie becomes a cheese? He dresses like a vulture and he I mean, the sound is very, very similar. Those, that's the actual original stem there. And I think you can hear that here. What the hell happens when a lie becomes a cheese? That's pretty, pretty close to the original stem vocal. And if we go to the chorus here. Wow. Here comes the Wow, that is so busy. If I if I desolo that, and you can hear just how much stuff is going on there, and how buried that is in the original. And then if I play it just alone. Wow, and the drums perfect. I hear almost no artifacts. And then the bass. All right, the bass is kind of subdued. I wonder if that's gonna be picked up in the other. Yeah, that's kind of like a, a sequence with the bass. Yeah, so if I pick up a guitar, is there guitar? I don't think there is guitar in this. Oh, there is. Yeah, and it's picked up that sound as guitar as well. That's pretty impressive, although the bass, again, it's not done a, a most fabulous job on picking that up. Yeah, it seems to have difficulty picking up when there is bass along with uh, that, that has a high frequency component to it as well. I think that is because it's specifically looking for uh, a bass guitar sound rather than a, necessarily a synth bass. But wow, that is impressive that I can, if I take uh, everything out but the vocals, so if uh, we undo all of this, and if I play everything but mute the vocals, it should just suck those vocals right out of there. Wow. Coming up here on the chorus. And here comes the climax. That's pretty impressive. And then we have the bridge here. All right, I am so impressed with this. This is so much better than Spectral Layers 11. The the improvement in the song on mix in version 12 is like night and day. This is really amazing. So that's it, that's Spectral Layers 12 Pro. Lots of new great features, the, uh, the ability to to separate all the different drum tracks is really kind of cool. The audio stem separation is much better. The ability for it to recover usable speech, like dialogue like this, out of noisy audio is far, far better than it used to be. Every version of Spectral Layers that comes out, it just gets better and better. This is by far the best I've ever used in terms of audio recovery. If you're interested in Spectral Layers, I put a link to it in the description below. This is not a paid video. I'm not doing being paid to review this at all. This is just a tool that I have used for many, many years. And I thought I would feature what I use it for most, which is the audio in these types of videos. If you have any other comments, questions, suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you could, click like on this video, subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. it helps me out. Thanks for watching.